Hello my dear students. Look at the picture and identify. Can you identify this bird? Yes, you guessed it right. Sparrows. S P A R R O W S. Sparrows. Today we are here to learn the poem Sparrows by Swapna Datta. Sparrows on the mango tree. Sparrows on the grass. Sparrows on the window sill. And sparrows on my looking glass. Sparrows on the gravel path. And on the garden chair. Sparrows by the lily pool. You find them everywhere. Let's do it once again children. Sparrows. Sparrows on the mango tree. Sparrows on the grass. Sparrows on the window sill. And sparrows on my looking glass. Now here the poet wants to tell us that he can see sparrows on the mango tree, on the grass, also sitting on the windowsill and the sparrows are also on his looking glass. Sparrows on the gravel path and on the garden chair, sparrows by the lily pool. You find them everywhere. Now, the poet is telling that he can also see the sparrow on the gravel path and on the garden chair. The sparrows are also sitting by the lily pool. He can find sparrows everywhere. Now, we will go through the new words children. Looking glass. The glass of the window through which we can see outside. Window sill, the bottom part of the window. Gravel path, a road made of small pieces of stones. Garden chair, a chair in the garden where anybody can sit. Lily pool, a pool of lily flowers or a pond full of lily flowers. Now we will go through the question answers. What is the poem about? This poem is about sparrows. S P A R R O W S sparrows. Just now we read the poem children. It is all about sparrows. The poet was looking sparrows here and there. He found the sparrows around him on the mango tree, grass, sitting on the window sill, or the gravel path, on the garden chair, by the lily pool. He finds the sparrows everywhere. So the correct answer is sparrows. This poem is about sparrows. Look at the picture. Tick the places where the speaker sees the sparrows. In your notebook, write the names of the places that you have ticked. The first picture is of the lily pool. Second picture is of the busy road. Third picture is of the gravel path. And the fourth picture is of a Garden chair. Among these four pictures, busy road is not there in the poem Sparrows. So, we will not take it. We will take the pictures of lily pool, gravel path and a garden chair. And also, you will write these three words in your notebook. 
Look at this one. Pick out words from the poem that sounds the same as these words. Bath. Now, a word with a similar sound in the poem is path. Bath, path. Free. A word with a similar sound in the poem is tree. Free, tree. Hair. A word with a similar sound in this poem is chair. Hair, chair. Cool. A word with a similar sound in this poem is pool. Cool, pool. Class. A word with a similar sound in the poem is glass. Glass, glass. Isn't the sound same? Let's read again. Bath, bath. Free, tree. Hair, chair. Cool, pool. Glass, glass. So here we complete today's poem children. Thank you.